with more on what the market is saying about European sovereign debt, what it means to the region's banks. We bring in Dirk Becker. He is with us now live from our bureau in Frankfurt. Dirk is a Bloomberg Best financial analyst, and he is with Kepler Capital Markets. Dirk, thanks so much for being with us this morning. What are the Portuguese yields telling you? What are the chances of default with Greece? Um, yeah, good morning. Uh, the, Portug the Portuguese yields certainly a, a source for concern, um, uh, but uh, and it means that the sovereign debt crisis in Europe in Europe is not over. Um, we are also still very worried about Greece, of course, and um, um, the question is, uh, what is the probability of default in Greece? Um, I, I think without external help, Greece would have defaulted last year already. Um, they do have this external help now, so until 2013 they are probably safe, uh, but what happens afterwards, difficult to say. Uh, I think uh, people from outside underestimate the efforts that Greece is taking. Uh, they have a huge share of the economy, is currently a shadow economy. Uh, they have lots of tax evaders which they're trying to tackle now. So if they can uh, release all these hidden reserves, as, as we uh, would call them, uh, then they have a good chance in 2013 to stand on their own and uh, to get uh, much better financial ratios for their public deficit. So I would sure. probably say at the moment it's 50-50 on Greece. 50-50 on Greece. And as you say, they are making a extraordinary efforts in your view. But let's say the 50 percent happens where Greece is forced to default. Which banks in Europe are most on the hook? Um, yeah, well, the, the total uh, debt that is held by European banks is around 250 billion. When we had the stress test last year, it showed that the French banks had the biggest exposure and the German banks had biggest exposure. But I think by now, uh, the bank which is most on the hook is probably the ECB. The ECB bought back an estimated 60 billion of Greek bonds um, in the capital market stabilization program. So if Greece would default, uh, I think the ECB would be uh, the biggest loser of that. And Dirk, with this, uh, all, the European, uh, all the European members of it. We've talked a little bit about Portugal. We've talked a lot about Greece. Can't talk about the region without turning our attention to Ireland. We're hearing there's a possibility that Ireland will have to restructure its senior bank debt. Uh, what are you factoring in there? I mean, which banks could feel that the most if that happens? Um, yeah, for the uh, for the Irish banks, uh, I think the easiest solution would probably be to restructure that debt. Uh, the Irish banks do have big problems. Uh, I think there was big pressure on the Irish government not to let this happen because there was a fear of contagion. Um, the Irish debt uh, or the Irish bank's debt is mostly held, um, as far as we are aware, in the UK. I think also the German banks have some of it. Uh, the number here is substantially lower. Uh, it's around 55 billion of the most troubled uh, Irish banks. Um, um, but this was, would certainly also trigger um, a big, um, say, uh, a big contagion crisis if this happens. So, Dirk, you were able to handicap a Greek default for us, saying it's a 50-50 chance. What about an Irish default on this debt? What are the chances there? Um, I think the Irish government would love to do it. It's just pressure from the European Union not to do it. And as long as the European Union uh, finances it, uh, it will probably be fine. So I would, I would think it's probably lower than 50-50, I'd say 30-70 that it will happen. Okay, Dirk, we thank you so much for the time. Dirk Becker joining us there. He is a financial analyst at Kepler Capital Markets in Frankfurt, and he is a Bloomberg best on diversified financials in the region.